What's going on guys? Angel Telemontis here at Clickly's Local. And I'm gonna show you guys two ways to stream. One is a paid version with Zoom. It's pretty cheap. I have it. And the other way is OBS. And that's gonna be completely for free. So stay tuned, smash the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. And it helps us show our content to more people who need it. So let's hop into my computer and I'll show you how everything works. What's going on guys? I'm here in my computer as you guys can see right now. Um, I have Google up. I'm gonna show you guys the first way. So you go to zoom.com and what you guys would do is you make an account here. Let me show you the pricing really quick. You can do the free and you can, but um, to, to get the live streaming, especially if you wanna maybe do it with two people, maybe you wanna start a podcast, maybe you guys want to just do more video and um, be in front of your audience more and use the live feature that will help you on Facebook and or YouTube and it'll notify all of your followers that you're live. So maybe you're just trying to re, even just rejolt uh, your following. You would do this $14.99 per month and it'll let you live stream. So I'm, gonna sh I'm going to get you guys into, into my account quick. So once you're there, you'll see in meeting advanced. You click it, it'll scroll all the way down there for you and you'll scroll down just a little bit more and it will show you right here, allow live stream meeting. So you would unlock it and then you'd be able to click any, you'd click all of these and you'll have them on. And then once you're able to do that, you'd go to, I'll start a new meeting. Um, let's see, you can choose whatever audio you wanna choose and then you'll go to more down here in the corner and it'll let you go live on Facebook. You can click live on Facebook and then it's gonna ask you all of these questions, what, uh, what page or in a group or anything like that. And you'll go through the prompts and then it'll give you a live preview. And then once you're ready, it's loading still, um, type anything here and you just click go live and you'll be able to go live. The free way to do this, which is OBS, and I'm gonna have it lock on here to OBS there. So this is OBS. Um, and you're going, what you're going to have is blank everything as you guys go to OBS. You guys will go to you know, OBS.com, go and download the software, pop it up, and this is what it's going to show you. You, have to, you do have to choose, by the way, whether you're a Mac or a PC user. So I'm a Mac user. I have the Mac version. What I would do is you add a new scene, which I'm going to add for you guys. Live tutorial. I'm going to hit OK. And now from here, you have to add... Um, a few things. So first, what you're going to do is add an audio input. And you can hit, you can call this Yeti. That's because that's the kind of mic I have. And you'd be able to choose Yeti right there. Hit OK. I'm going to turn that volume down. And then the second thing that you do is once you have your mic ready, you're going to want to have your video ready. So you go to um, video capture device and whether you can you can uh, rig up a camera if you want to use, just use the built-in built webcam. You can do that as well. We'll hit that, that's fine. You're able to adjust just how big you want the screen to fit. So it'll fit that perfectly. The third thing that you'll need to do is maybe you're going to show something on your screen. Um, you can do window capture and it'll let you show like uh, Google or whatever. You'll be able to choose it here. Like this is the desktop. Um, you'd be able to show Google like I'm doing, like I did just before, um, but I'm going to turn that off for the second. And then the next thing that you need to do is connect this stream, because now that you have your mic and your video, now you need to connect this stream in settings to start streaming. So what you'll do is you go to settings. I'll make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And then you click stream. So you have the choice to do, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, uh, Twitter, all of those things. And what normally what I do is I go to custom and you'll be able to grab these two inside of Facebook or inside of YouTube. And I'll be sharing something, by the way, guys, if you guys haven't seen, I do have a new uh, Chrome extension that doesn't let me see my feed so that I can stay. And there's Sam Ovens who preaches it right there. Um, but I don't have a news feed on my desktop because I'm trying to be as efficient as possible so that I don't have to get distracted. But what you do is you click live video. And once you click live video, they have, you have the live producer here. You can use the stream key. 
You can uh, use your camera, all of this stuff, but I'm gonna use a stream key. So you click stream key. And what you're able to do is, I don't wanna show you guys my stream key, but this is the stream key here. This is the live API. So you go, you copy and paste this, and then you go right back into um, your OBS. I'll go back to my other share, copy and paste this, put this here. You take the stream key, you do the same thing, and then you hit OK. Inside of OBS right here, you'd click Start Streaming, and from there, you would see on Facebook, right, it says Waiting for Live. This is where you would see the live feed, where it's going to show you, and then you'd be able to click Live, and you'd be able to go live from there. So guys, that's exactly how you guys go live for free on OBS or, you know, for a little bit of a, you know, a charge on, on Zoom, which actually isn't that bad comparatively if you use Zoom for Zoom calls or if you use it for a streaming live. It's not a bad price at $14.99 per month. Um, it's your choice. You can do it either way. So thank you guys. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.